He served his country proudly overseas, but back home, Manuel McGee is accused of heinous crimes against young people. Tonight, 8 on Your Side investigates is staying on this case of this accused predator. You're looking at video of his first appearance in Polk County right now. And tonight, there is new information about his military history and the many awards he received. 8 on Your Side investigative reporter Masa Saidi has been digging into this sad case and a sad one against children. Josh Jen, the chief of police in Winter Haven, calls McGee a monster and other detectives in different jurisdictions have felt the same way. Well, for weeks, we have been trying to figure out why it's taken so long to get to this moment. Mr. McGee, do you know what the charges are, yes or no? No idea. Just extradited from Knoxville, Tennessee to Polk County, the camera was rolling as Manuel McGee, surrounded by other inmates, faced a judge. Okay, you're okay with the waiving the reading of the charges? Yeah. The charges he just waived the reading of include two capital felonies, sexual battery on a child under the age of 12. Uh, Mr. McGee, do you have an attorney, sir? No, Would you like an attorney? Yes, ma'am. I don't want this guy to see the light of day again. Winter Haven police detectives are the ones who meticulously built the case against McGee. This is 13 years after he was first accused of sexually abusing a child while stationed at Fort Bragg in North Carolina. The 15 counts in that case were dismissed due to a lack of evidence. Since then, Chief Charles Byrd says essentially the same accusation and same result in Georgia and Lakeland. I think that he honestly believes that he's going to get away with this one as well. Eight on Your Side has been investigating how an accused child predator seemingly slipped through the cracks for years. Tonight, new information from the National Archives lays out McGee's military history. Accused of the worst crimes, he's also the recipient of five medals, including the Global War on Terrorism Service Medal, Humanitarian Service Medal, and Iraq Campaign Medal. The document states he was discharged, but it doesn't say how or why. Also missing, information about that 2006 child sex abuse case. We know the Army dismissed it, but as you can see, the transcript of the court-martial trial is not in file. Meantime, Chief Byrd says he hopes other victims in different jurisdictions also get justice, partly because of the work of his detectives. And, uh, I'm proud of them. I'm proud of what they've done, and, and uh, there's a lot of people that can breathe easy now because of this work that they've done. And the state attorney's office tells me they are still investigating whether more charges will be added for additional alleged victims. And we are also in the process of trying to get a lot more information from the military, including the transcript of the sex abuse trial that went nowhere in 2006. Jen. Thank you, Masa. If you have a problem you want Masa to investigate, be sure to call our 8 on your side helpline at 1-800-338-0808.